welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be quite interesting to put together a little beauty routine video for you guys. So these are the th 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 these are some of the things that I like to do in terms of like beauty routines. So like washing my hair, blow drying my hair, like body care. Um, I've left some things out, so I will um, do a couple of these more in the future. So make sure to subscribe. But um, yeah, these are the things that I did on this particular day. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into my beauty routine. I always start with my hair because I have pretty thick and long hair. So I wash it the day before and I have been combining the Marc Anthony Grow Long Shampoo and Conditioner along with this Coconut Milk Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. And I washed my hair the day before so that I can put it up in a pony or a bun so that it can just dry naturally as I don't like doing hair blow dries or whatever and then the next morning um, my hair will still be a little bit damp I like this hair tie because it doesn't like pull out your hair or anything so I just keep that in my hair and then the next morning I will take my hair out and I will put some of this coconut oil and shea butter little hair oil from Mark Anthony as well. I love this, it protects your hair and infuses your hair with a lot of moisture. So once I've done all of that, that is like the start of my beauty routines. This is what my hair looks like when it's just air dried. So I will take my GHD blow dryer. I will link this down below. I like it because it has a like power setting and a heat setting. So I will use the middle to the colder setting and I just love the way this looks, you guys. It is so beautiful. So I'll go ahead and take the hair dryer with this nozzle on it. This helps to blow the hair in a downward position so you don't have like frizz or anything. So the first part, I will use a little bit of the heat. And then once it's a little bit smooth and dry, I go in with a colder setting because this helps smooth and set my hair into place so i'll just do the front pieces and then i'll go ahead and just put that in a bun and then apply some heat to it so that it kind of forms in that little wave so when i let my hair down it almost looks like a little bit more of a neater lived in type of look and i like lived in hair i like perfect hair as well but i prefer like just lived in here so next um i want to do some fake tanning so i have been doing fake tanning for a while now and i have been loving loving tan since november of last year and i have been buying their products and recommending them to you guys and they kindly enough sent me a little gift so i got this a little while ago but i wanted to finish my um loving tan that I had so I thought I would open this with you guys and just show you what I got before we like continue with the rest and then I'll show you um a little tanning routine because you guys have been requesting that I'm not the best at tanning to be 100% honest um I'm kind of perfecting my routine and seeing what works and what doesn't work before I do like an official tanning routine but um, this is part of like my beauty routines that I do regularly. So I thought I would show you that anyway. So this was the little package. It came with a note that said a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. And it just says, hey, Jessica, we hope you enjoy the goodies, gorgeous. Thanks so much for your support of our brand. We are truly so grateful. Love the Loving Tan team. So thank you to them. Um, so inside, I have a few products. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this. So I have this bronze shimmer luminous cream. You guys, this is one of my favorite things. Mine is still pretty full, um, but I'll keep this for backup. And then I first purchased the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. This was my first purchase from Loving Tan. And then I, wanted to try the two hour express this one is not in ultra dark it is in just dark um but it still is a very beautiful dark olivey bronze color the ultra dark is just way 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 more intense but you guys i have like a pretty pale um complexion and the ultra dark looks 
perfectly fine on me i don't apply too much um i kind of blend it out a little bit um and then we also got a little washable quick and easy to use reach applicator oh, that's so cool well i'm not going to show you these products i'm just going to show you what i have been doing i've obviously haven't tried these out so i will kind of like do a different video with that and then i also got a tan removing skin polishing glove i haven't tried this and you guys i have a code with loving tan um, so if you use my code, you can get this little applicator made for free. Um, without this, your tan will not look flawless, I promise you. So um, use my code. It's absolutely free if you do use my code. And then, oh, I got some Tim Tans, you guys. So with my fake tanning, I have realized that I can't be showering just before I apply my fake tan because my pores stay open for so long and then the tan kind of gets stuck in the pores so I do dry exfoliating with these little gloves and then I just take my loving tan this is a two hour express and I'm using that little mitt I spoke about and here is the before and after and doing my back is a little bit tricky you guys but I have mastered it so I just kind of twist my body and make sure that I reach every single part of my back and then I go very very lightly with no extra tan over my hands and feet and what you want to do when you are done tanning you want to wear loose dark clothing so I'm just wearing some black sweatpants and a t-shirt and then I always open this little dark gray blanket when I'm sitting on my sofa because I wouldn't want to get that tan onto my sofa and I prefer um, tanning during the day because I can wash this off in two hours and I don't get anything on my sheets um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a face mask so this changes up all the time I wanted to try out this black mineral um dead sea mineral face mask from mineraline and it felt so good you guys it like literally cleaned out all of my pores so i normally do a little face mask and just wait for it to sit and then i will peel that off i actually don't trim or wax my eyebrows i just tweeze a little bit of the hairs in between my brows and then if i have like a little bit of a naughty hair here and there i will plug that out and then i do have a lot of eyebrows but they are a little bit blonde i do have a full video on how i tint my brows at home and i will link that down below um so please go watch that and then i wanted to try out this time it serum from mineral line as well it's not sponsored or anything i just wanted to do a little bit of a serum before i do my fake tan on my face so this is how i do fake tan on my face just like i would do bronzer just with a little buffing and a eyeshadow brush i love how this just adds the perfect contours to the face i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm going to do a couple more so i hope you guys stick around for that let me know in the comments your beauty routines i would love to know and then i will see you guys in my next video bye